Whoa! Ford just revealed a ton of new updates for the upcoming 2023 Bronco, and today I'm gonna show you some of the amazing colors, options, and new trim levels that are coming out real soon. Ford Bronco has been out for a while now, and despite all the crazy delays, customers have finally been getting their orders. If you're still waiting on your Ford Bronco to be built, then these delays might actually provide you the opportunity to make your build even better. And if you haven't even ordered one yet, but you're still thinking about it, then stick around for this whole video because Ford just made the Bronco even more awesome. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the new stuff you can get on your Bronco that'll make it even better. Starting with what Ford calls their more affordable baby Raptor build. The new Ford Bronco was recently revealed, and while it's an awesome high-speed off-roading machine, the reaction from enthusiasts was, well, mixed. I'm not a huge fan of these giant fenders. I just think they look a little too goofy. I have to agree that the fenders might be a little ugly, so it's actually one of the reasons that I'm not getting it, and Ford could have done a way better job on that part of the design. If you have the means to buy one and don't mind the fenders, then you're still gonna have a hard time getting the Raptor Bronco. We know this version is gonna have insane markups, and that's where this new baby Bronco Raptor comes in to fill the gap. Ford recently revealed the Haas 3.0 package as an upgrade to the regular Bronco. It's got most of the expensive Raptor goodies on the suspension without the price tag or the weird fender flares. Now, this package is not super brand new. It's actually been out for a couple of months now, but a lot of people don't even realize that you can get this. This Haas 3.0 package includes Fox 2.5 inch internal bypass dampers paired with a really unique spring ring. And if you want this package, it's actually only a $2,515 option and includes an upgraded rear stabilizer bar as well. This Haas package also includes a heavier duty steering rack pulled directly from the Ford Bronco Raptor parts bin. If you're planning to upgrade with a bigger lift, and wheels and tires. So what's important about this is it actually includes a heavier duty set of inner and outer tie rods. Ford says are 32% stronger than the existing suspension offering. And last but not least, this also comes with a set of steel underbody bash plates and a powder coated front steel bumper with fog lights and tow hooks. And what's even cooler about this Haas package is you can also get it in the two-door version, which there's no two-door Raptor available and probably never will be. So if you don't wanna drop the cash on a Raptor, I say just grab this Haas package and it'll go a long way towards scratching that Raptor itch. With the development of the Ford Bronco Raptor and the Everglades version now in our rear view mirror, Ford is actually turning its attention to something that I think is honestly even cooler. It was about 18 months ago when what looks like a Ford Bronco Heritage Edition was spied hiding under camouflage. And ever since then, we've heard nothing or seen nothing else about it until now. Just a few days ago, Ford Authority released a few really good spy shots of a two-door and a four-door Heritage Edition Bronco without any camouflage at all. And this thing is starting to look pretty cool because it's actually a mix of I would say all of the best bits of the Ford Bronco Raptor and the Bronco Everglades kind of mixed all into one. Let me explain. If you look at the front, it actually has a Ford badged grille, but not in the massive Bronco Raptor way. There's actually some really smaller Ford print right in the center where the Bronco text used to be, and I think it looks really, really good. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. This is where the Raptor and the Bronco Everglades kind of mix into one. Now, if you love how the Bronco Raptor handles all the whoop-de-doos and the jumps and everything, what's cool about this is it actually has the Sasquatch package and the Haas 3.0 suspension system that comes on that Bronco Raptor. And then they took the wheels and the squared off fender flares that we all love from the Bronco Everglades edition. So this is like the ultimate mix of all of the best bits of everything the Bronco has to offer right now. And what's even cooler is that it actually was spied with a different type of hard top. This new top is actually supposed to be a lot quieter and you can get it in a like uh, shiny black color or even paint it in the body color of the vehicle, which I'm really looking forward to. Now here's where this Heritage Edition takes us into the three new colors that we're gonna get coming real soon on the 2023 Bronco. So the first color we're gonna get actually looks like you can order on the Heritage Edition, and it goes back to a classic 1960s, early 70s color called Robin's Egg Blue. And my hope is that Ford will start introducing more and more classic Bronco colors as the years go on. Now going on to the second color that's gonna be released. I don't know if this is just for a specific model, or if Ford is gonna make it available to every single Bronco across the line, including like the Raptor and all these in the Heritage Edition. But it looks like around July 20th, someone on Bronco 6G spied a Everglades version 
in Leadfoot Gray. Now, Leadfoot Gray has been a color that's now, I think you can get it on like the regular F-150s. It was on the F-150 Raptor as well. And it looks like you can now get it on the Everglades Bronco. So we got Robin's Ed Blue coming. We've got Leadfoot Gray. And according to like a little insider shot, as you can see in this screenshot, there's also possibly an Azure Gray Metallic. And there's no pictures of it or anything. It's just someone someone found something back in Ford's system. And so that might be the third color that we get next year. And I wanna add two little bonuses to these color combos. We have the Everglades version that you can buy in Desert Sand. And we also have the Raptor in Code Orange. Here's my thought, this is just total speculation. But I think eventually like special colors like this Desert Sand, the Robin's Egg Blue, Leadfoot Gray, and the Code Orange. After the hype wears down of these special versions, my thought and my hope is that Desert Sand and all these, and Code Orange and stuff, will be able to be a color that you can choose on any Bronco model. So with that said, I'm really excited about where the Bronco is headed and the new things that Ford has coming out for it. So I wanna know your thoughts. Do you like what Ford is doing with the Bronco? Do you like some of the changes, the Heritage Edition, the new colors that are coming out? Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.